Hi friends, you are with me Anuradha from learningmilestone.com and this lecture is part of series practice take inter programs where I aim to cover both concepts related to take inter library and one useful application with each tutorial. In our last and first lecture, we created distance converter app while I introduced you to take inter library and some of its concepts. As part of this lecture, I will be focusing more on grid geometry manager options. So let's see how the application would work once it is finally created. So it's a very simple application as you can see. It has a simple window and its title is password generator. And uh, I can stretch this window and as I stretch this window, I can see my widgets are also moving, uh, occupying the space. And if I click on generate button, it will simply generate some random password for me. If I click on generate again, again, it will generate some other password. And with the help of copy button, I can copy the password and uh, I can paste it somewhere in the notepad. Okay. So that's how this application is supposed to work. So this is a very simple looking and simple working application. And while we create layout with the help of grid geometry manager, we'll be also covering different modules like uh, random module and uh, paper clip module um, along with the take inter module. So let's get it started and move back to our editor. I'll be doing that in PyCharm editor. You can use online Apple editor if you do not have any Python editor installed to get quickly started. So let's move ahead. So we'll be starting with importing tkinter library and uh, let's also frame the template. So first we need to create a root window or main window container and at the end we need to have run main loop to keep the window running and listening to the event further to that we need to have a section for creating variables like uh, background color or any other which we might need then we can also reconfigure our root let's say for different color then we need to have a space where we can create functions which will be called on particular event or on button click and then we have to have this section which is responsible for creating layout or widgets on the main window all right so we need to have all this now let's start by creating root window so i'll say root is equal to tk enter and i'll use the tk class to create the main root window and as we already know that this root window will not appear unless we run root dot main loop which is responsible so if i run this again our window will appear and this root dot main loop is responsible for keeping this window alive until this cross button is pressed and also for listening to the events happening across the window or on the widget all right so we have our root window ready here we can also give title to our root window so our application is password generator okay and let's see an example of creating variable so let's say i give a root underscore color is equal to so you can extract these color names from internet or you can also pass hex color codes so i'll not type into it it is just a matter of searching so root underscore color what root reconfiguring root is we can reconfigure the properties of root let's say background color using bg is equal to where we can pass root color we could have directly passed beach buff over there but 
this is the way to standardize it across the window in case we want to use it in different widget background color we can directly use root color now we'll create functions later let's come directly to creating layout so we have this peach puff color window waiting to have widgets let's see the original application and then we'll decide what widgets we need so our original application looks like this so as we can see this if we generate this this is not an add entry widget this is a label widget which has a background color black and foreground color white in terms of font and then we have two buttons let's just first create these widgets and then we'll talk about placing them on the window so we need one label widget and two button widgets so create widgets so we needed one label which is let's say label underscore password and we can use the hinted label class to create label and where we want to create we want to create directly on the root window so this is the master window for this label and uh, do we want to have any text let's say we'll just keep some text to be updated okay and we also wanted to have bg is equal to black and fg foreground color as white perfect now let's also create two buttons button underscore generate equal to tick into dot label and then we want to have the same things it is on root window and the text let's say is generate okay and similarly we want to have a copy button okay so we have a copy button let's also create functions which will be called on the click of these buttons we will not exactly be creating functions but the placeholder so to call any function on button click we can use command and uh, we can pass the function name let's say we have a generate function which is still not existing so let's create this def generate so right now i'll not add anything to this so i'll just pass it and similarly i can have a copy function for copy button and as we also noticed earlier that we do not have the circular brackets while calling the function through command okay and uh, similarly this button can call copy function okay function perfect so right now they will not give any error because these functions are existing but these functions are not effectively doing anything so let's run it i think i have an error uh, unknown option command okay oh sorry I have to keep the classes button all right so let's run it so we have the same window right why because we have created widgets but we have not placed them earlier in our last tutorial we saw that one way to place the widgets on the window is a straightforward pack uh, geometry manager but as the application grows in terms of widget it is uncontrollable through pack geometry manager and we arrived at grid geometry manager to see how we can control the placement of widget so basically what we have to do our current window is this and our finally expected window is this one right and how we want to play we have already created the widgets and we want to place them on this window so that final look of the ui we get is like this and we know that in grid geometry manager it is primarily based on row and column so i'll just make create a small analogy through uh, excel uh, spreadsheet so that we can just slightly understand how to place which widget in which row and column right so let's create 
little bit of this application in Excel sheet. So I have this Excel sheet. Let's say I have this application. Okay. And this application has uh, this row zero and column zero and column one. Let's just ignore this for now. And this has uh, again row. No, I'll just delete this for now. Okay, so we have one more row and one more column. So effectively, we have these cells and columns for four widgets. Okay, or three widgets. So if we see the structure of our application, right? So this is password field, and there we have generate button and copy button. Let's say this is password and we have that to be updated text right over there and then we have generate button and then we have copy button okay generate copy and generate copy okay fine now we also see this that this is spanned across the columns right so one by one let's understand grid geometry manager uses rows and columns so what we will be doing first we will be uh, placing these widgets using simply dot grid and row column option and then we will keep on adding other options all right so let's go back so what we want we want label underscore password dot grid and let's see if we don't give any option what will happen and we have button dot generate dot grid and then we have button dot copy dot grid okay and I'll just run this now our window becomes like this and if we see this is somewhere similar to pack right and what is happening is if we are not providing any particular row and column option it is increasing the number of row and using column one so this is row zero row one and row two and column zero so our application basically gets placed all the widgets get placed stacked on the top of each other like this okay but we do not want this so we will be specifying rows and columns so what I'll say, I'll say row is equal to zero, column is equal to zero, right? And here row is equal to one, column is equal to zero and row is equal to one, column is equal to one. Make sense, right? For generate button, we have row one, column zero, copy button, we have row one, column one and let's say row zero, column zero for this. So if we run this now, what will happen? We'll get this. Okay. We'll get this option. And uh, what is actually happening? Let's try to understand this. Um, I'll just place it in the center. And to place this window, I mean, just a slight deviation. I have to place this root window always in the center. I'll just go to top and uh, I'll say, root dot eval and then we have double quotes tk and double semicolon place window space dot space center i hope this works so yeah so i will always have this window opening in the center with this so let's come back to what we were discussing so we have created four columns right now in this application and as you can see each column uh, is exactly same as the size of what the content is right and this maximum size occupied by this is a so this is just one column right so this is the maximum size allocated to the next row it's also because the column has this to be updated is occupying this much space but generate is not occupying but it has it is allocated some empty space right so that it is in alignment with this column 
similarly we have copy button which is simply occupying this much of space right so if i again go to excel you can see this generate is appearing in the center to be update is also appearing in the center copy button is appearing in the center while copy button is occupying the space allocated to it similarly generate is occupying the space occupied whatever is a bigger widget occupying okay now this generate button has ample of space and anything it is widget content is appearing in the center of the ui that's what we see but we wanted this a uh, first widget which is uh, labeled to span across both the columns and not to stick in one column what i mean is i want to have it merged okay and i want it to span across both the columns and for that we need option called column span and the column which we want to span we'll simply say starting column and then column span is equal to it wants uh, we have to stretch it across two columns so two okay so now we have this stretched across the columns now let's see what is happening by default this whole content is sticking to the top left of the uh, window right like in excel and if we even stretch it nothing happens right it keeps on sticking to this window because we have not given something called weightage to these columns as the application grows these column does not grow and if we really want these columns to grow in size when the application grows in size whether in left manner or right manner right we have to give column configure and row configure option so let's say we want them to grow what we'll do we'll go to the container which is containing these columns and uh, let's say we want columns to grow in size right we'll say zero column we'll say weight is equal to one okay and let's see the change if i increase this okay what will happen okay this keeps on increasing as the size grows but it is because we have not given any weightage to copy column it stands over there and it does not grow in size so let's give weightage to this as well and the column number is one and we'll say weight one now what will happen when the application grows in size that means we when we resize the window in horizontal direction both the columns will equally expand something like that okay but it will not happen in this direction because we have not given row configure let's try to give row configure as well and here too and see the change so i can grow the columns i in horizontal direction as well as in rows okay so the rows and columns grow according to the size of the application using column configure or row configure perfect right so uh, so that was column configure and one more uh, point to be added let's say you want one column to grow double the size of the other column which has weight equal to one right so it will grow double in size okay so let's keep it one so that was another option column configure and row configure to make the things better so let's move to another option in grid geometry manager which is called sticky and to understand that we need to understand the placement of widgets in the cell they are lo located to so as you can see in this excel comparison the widget is placed exactly into the center of the cell it is allocated so that is how by default it is placed in the grid cell too okay so generate is placed in the center of the cell it is allocated and so is the copy button and so is it to be updated because it is spans across two columns okay and if we span it because of column configure they will always remain whatever space they get they will 
put themselves in the center of the widget and this is due to something called sticky so i have picked this picture from internet from python tutorial.net and this is something just sticky which is responsible for allocating the location of widget within the cell and by default the location is center and by changing a sticky value we can move it to any of these location let's give a try to one so if i the same in, in um, excel if i want to this to be in center at the top and then in the corner this is something which is northwest location similarly this is something which is northeast location and southeast and so on right similarly in tkinter let's say i want to change the location of generate button within the cell i'll give sticky is equal to um let's say north west okay let's see the change which happens i'll just extend it and as you can see it is sticks to the top left corner which is exactly the northwest location of the cell right similarly for copy button if i give this southeast let's say southeast okay and let me expand it right can you see the difference just by giving sticky now how about this to be updated it is exactly in the center and i wanted to stretch it from west to east for that what can i do let me first remove these sticky options we don't need them so i just i would update the sticky in label password and what i'll do i want to stretch it from east to west or west to east so i'll give it in this manner and let's see what it changes okay so we have this to be updated stretched across from west to east okay and i hope with this uh we are clear about what is sticky and how it can help us let's move to next option in grid which is padding and which is similar to the padding in pack as well um so let's see so when i say a word padding something like this comes to my mind and uh, just imagine this house as a widget okay it can be a label and then there is a wall around this house right and you can compare it with a cell this whole thing as a cell in which this widget is allocated and uh, there is a gap between the widget and the cell itself right in multiple directions so let's say x direction and y direction and then there is a gap bit outside the cell wall and between other widget let's say this road is other widget okay so there is a gap of this grass between this so this wall is not exactly touching this road okay so if we look at our application right now our widget right has this cell allocation and this cell wall is touching the road window wall right and here also if you see this two there is no grass between these two widgets generate or copy in between there is no gap external gap right so again if i talk about padding there are two kinds of padding we'll be talking about external padding and internal padding external padding is space outside the widget okay and internal padding is space within the widget so let's say i want to have space around this generate text so we'll be creating these two spaces using external padding in horizontal direction it is pad x and in vertical direction it is pad y and for internal we will just add the word i and so let's directly go and apply so let's apply some padding how external padding outside uh, label password window okay so to apply padding what we have to do we have to go to grid and since padding is a grid option we will be putting pad x over there pad x is for horizontal and let's say if i say 20 what does that mean that means 20 pixel space would be added on both sides of 
the widget it is applied to something like this okay so this is 20 pixels here and 20 pixels here how about if i just want to apply it on one side then i have to make use of double so if i just want to apply on left side i'll give the left value and on the right side i will give the value whatever i want which can be zero or it can be anything so this in this way we can take care individually of individual horizontal side so i'll just keep it 20 for now and we have this okay now what else what else we need we clear, clearly need the space on the top and bottom as well so no points for guessing we need pad y for that right and what you have to do there is no specific for, specific formula for padding you can just see and whatever appears nice to you you can use that value of padding so here we have this to be updated pad y20 on the top and bottom and if we have to use only value on the one side or different values on different side we can use double now how about generate right now here we will be using tuple for y value because we don't need padding over here we need padding only on the bottom for both right so let's say if i apply it over here pad y is equal to and i just need it on the bottom so let's say i say pad y is equal to 0 20 now what is happening over here if you will ask why this copy is getting space this is not because it is getting padding we have not applied it yet it is because its cell size is increased and it is again in the middle of it okay so let's apply separate padding to it so here we have the ui which we want uh, not exactly we also wanted these ones to be little bit bigger in the sense little bit long and have a space around this generate thing right and copy things so let's give internal padding so to give internal padding i will make use of something called ipad x and let me give tan value not exactly pad x ipad x okay and uh, so as you can see i have a space in generate similarly for copy i can give a little bit of more because copy word is smaller than generate so i'll give let's say 15 okay and we have this okay all right so that was all about padding and now is the time to make this window functional right our generate button is not working our copy button is not working and i really need to generate the random password and enable this copy button to copy that and let's have a look on original application again so that we can make out what to do with our function and if i click on generate i have this if i click on copy i have this right so i want a similar application or similar functionalities in my buttons and now in the next part we'll be adding functionalities to our button and where we'll be adding in these functions okay so let's move further so let's make the button functional so for coming to generate function we need a password which is randomly generated what are the passwords requirement in general it should have a number and a lowercase letter uppercase letter and a certain character right and every time i click on generate button um it should throw me some random password which is a permutation or combination of all of these right letter number and uppercase and all that stuff so uh, so first of all we need to have strings which contain this all of them right and then we will randomly generate a string out of that string so what i'm talking about is let's say i need digits equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 like that right and similarly i want lowercase letter right so i can have similar way a b c d till z but string module in python makes our effort less by providing us the constant so basically what we will do we will import um, string module okay 
import string and what we will do here in case of digits we can do string dot digits in case of lowercase we can have a string dot ascii lowercase so it will return me a string which contains all the lowercase letters and similarly for uppercase letters we can have string ascii underscore uppercase okay and what about characters we can also have characters from this uh, by using ascii underscore characters or, or right but sometimes we do not need all the characters in password so we will just include the characters which generally which are permitted in password okay so i'll just copy paste it this is this these are the characters right so this is our string uh, which are needed and so what we'll do we'll form a main string with this and we'll concatenate all of them digits plus lowercase plus uppercase plus characters okay so it will give me a big string now what else i want i want to shuffle this string every time i call generate function i want to shuffle this and shuffling can be done with the shuffle method of random module so first of all i'll get a random module okay to shuffle random module needs a list okay to shuffle so it needs a list as an argument so first of all i'll just form a list out of this main string by passing it to list method okay and i'll pass this main underscore list to over here and uh, it will give me uh, every time i'll press on generate button it will shuffle all of these right so we have a main a long string ready with the shuffle digits lowercase uppercase and characters ready and now i need to generate a password of certain length right generally we create a password of length uh, let's say 8 to 15 right so i'll just generate a random integer using random dot rand int between number 8 to 15 okay uh, you can change it as per your wish now what we have to do we have to create a string using characters from random dot shuffle okay so i'll run a group for i in range how much let's say this number is pw underscore len okay so range should be uh, varying from uh, range should can be pwd underscore len so every time i click on generate button I have a different length password which ranges from 8 to 15 and this loop will run as many times and what it is supposed to do um, let me create one empty string okay password equal to empty and what every time this loop will run it will add on to that password is equal to so first time the loop starts it is empty string right and it chooses one of the value from this main list string okay and uh, how about passing random dot choice random dot choice from the list main list okay so i'll pass this main list over here and uh, every time this loop will run it will add on that uh, letter to this password and it will run till this password length and once this loop closes we have our final password so let's just print for now i hope i don't get any error so let's just run it and i click on generate oh so i have this password how oh, this gives repl password anyways we have different password every time 
we click on generate button and now what we have to do instead of printing on this terminal i have to update it uh, in place of this two bit updated text right and that's so simple it just we have to reconfig this label using config method so to reconfig any widget or change the property of any widget we need to use config method and what property we want to update is password um, this text and it needs to be replaced with password all right so let's see oops so we are here and the, the next thing which we need to do is i should be able to copy this password and paste it somewhere in notepad or wherever i want so eventually this copy button should help me to copy the button so uh, so to copy we need another module which is called piper clip import piper clip okay so how can we make this copy button functional is first we need to fetch the value from whatever is there in this uh, label field right so to fetch the value from any widget or let's say any property from any widget there is a standard method called ckat and what property we want to fetch we want to fetch text property of this label so let's do that so random underscore password is equal to our widget is label underscore password dot we want to fetch ckat uh, using ckat the text property okay and uh, simply we want to copy that using piper clip so piper clip dot copy this that straight right random password so let's see run generate copy let's open a notepad paste yay so we are done with this program i know the window was like very simple and there was nothing much in the in terms of functionality but because of our main focus on explanation of the grid concept i had to go through this long video and but uh, i suppose it is worth it in case you didn't know about grid geometry manager and uh, let's continue with the journey of knowing tkinter and creating useful application in our next uh, next tutorial where i'll be creating to do application a uh, task list application and uh, we'll be introduced to two new widgets one is frame and the other is scrollable list and we will also be using uh, functionalities to interact with the uh, text files reading and writing data from text files so let's move further and stay tuned and subscribe to my video thank you